Hello, yes, the new ambassadors for British nationalism. And that's the youth of this country. They're the people now that I'll be reaching out to because I understand today's modern youth. They remind me of a bit of myself when I was 16, 17, and getting into all types of trouble with the police, stealing cars, up to all types, had my mum and dad up the wall. And then I found British nationalism in the form of the once mighty National Front. And it was like as if someone had switched the light on and I could see things more clearly now. It was really unbelievable. It was a real, true awakening. I understood the mess I was in and why. And British nationalism from that day, 1978, I was 17, I just left school. It's been a life boy for me and it's saved me in many uh, tough and difficult situations where I could have went under. And British nationalism has been like a life boy that's kept me afloat. And I'm here today now because of British nationalism and the late great John Tyndall. So the British youth of today, you find yourself lost and confused you're sitting in back rooms or wherever, smoking pot all day, getting more depressed. You're in gangs. You're riding round on scrambling motorbikes, annoying the community. Your parents, if you've got parents, are arguing or maybe they're drinking or maybe they're on drugs. And you see the whole lot as so confusing, so messed up, you just want to give in and express your anger on society and good, decent people. Well, let me tell you, I was the same. But the way to do this now is to become a British nationalist. Read John Tyndall's book, The Eleventh Hour. I've just been looking for it. I can't find it. I must have lent that out. I'll have to hunt that down and get that back. That's an excellent book. I've probably lent that out somewhere because I can't find it. Uh, I've been looking high and low all last night after my last video. But read John Tyndall. I'll leave the link below. Leave John, read John Tyndall's book, The Eleventh Hour. Because we're in the eleventh hour. And only you... The British youth on our side, on the side of British nationalism, can now save our beloved Great Britain. We are really, truly in the 11th hour. Not when John Tyndall wrote that in 1986. We are now living in the 11th hour. It's endgame and it's rapidly approaching quicker than we can all ever imagine. I remember when I first read a lot of books and a lot of magazines, papers, British nationalism and nationalism around the world and it predicted what was going to happen. I could never envisage that that was ever, that day was ever going to arrive and it's here now. London is a classic example of civilization now collapsing before our very eyes. So the youth of Britain, my plea to you is to... Uh, Rid yourself of all the destructiveness, all the negativeness. Stop hanging round in gangs. Stop riding round on scrambler bikes. Stop smoking pot, getting more depressed. Stop thinking negatively. Stop listening to negative music when it's rap or whatever. And start reading. Start reading and reading and reading. And don't stop reading till you understand what this fight is all about. Then you'll have something to live and die for because... When you get up of a morning, if you don't have something to live for, then what is life worth getting up for? But to accompany that, you have to have something worth dying for. Your family, what you believe in, your country. But more importantly, I believe, is British nationalism and the saviour and rebirth of our once beloved Great Britain. So watch my previous video telling young people how to organise, how to get ready. Educate yourself so when you do step into the arena, you're going to be second to none and you're going to put the fear of God into the enemies of this country that are destroying it. We, we can see now on the horizon the Brexit betrayal. We can see it. The betrayal is, they're not even hiding it now. They don't care. It's not even wrapped up in any form of euphemism. They're doing it blatantly and deliberately. So I can relate to your problems i can relate to your anger i can feel your anger because i was a young kid 17 getting into trouble stealing cars fighting with the police going to detention center and the once mighty national front and british nationalism that saved me and i'm here now today and i'm thankful for british nationalism 
and the late great John Tyndall. So all you young kids out there that are lost, confused, you, you can't make head or tail of what's happening in the only way to express your anger is through negativity or destructive vices. Break free from them. Start reading some of the books behind me are worth reading, but one in particular is definitely John Tyndall's The Eleventh Hour. Uh, I'll leave the Amazon link below. And that will give you an understanding and probably help you see why you're in the mess you're in today. Your parents are in the mess today because of endless uh, politicians, past and present, that have destroyed the will to live. It's been replaced by materialism, selfishness, diversity, multiculturalism and political correctness. Also, educate yourself about our great British history. Drake, Nelson, Cook, the list is endless. There was a Sinn Féin guy made a comment about the Union Jack is like a butcher's apron. That's right, because we were good at our job. We left these isles and we were conquerors, we were explorers, we opened up the new world and we've got nothing to be ashamed of and I'll never apologise. They were great men, great times, I wish they were here now. Educate yourself in our history and then prepare yourself for the, you're going to be the new ambassadors for British nationalism. Okay, thank you.